We'll now go over some additional features of the machine for other applications. To sharpen end mills with larger shanks, special 5C end mill holders are available for tools with shanks of an inch and a quarter, 32 millimeter, inch and a half, 40 millimeter, two inch and 50 millimeter. Shown here is a two inch holder. End mills with long flute lengths, we offer an optional stylus bracket extension for tools with long flute lengths, also shown here. The stylus is set in front of the left side of the wheel instead of the right side, and the motor is run in the direction reverse to what you normally run it in. Set the air bearing swivel base to approximately five degrees. To sharpen the chamfer of a reamer, set the air bearing fixture to 45 degrees, or whatever angle the chamfer may be. Use the machine's x-axis handle to feed the chamfer past the wheel. Using the index ring, index to all other flutes. To size the OD, sharpen the reamer's OD in the same manner as an end mill. You may need to modify the stylus slightly so that it doesn't hit the, any of the flutes that are lower than the one being sharpened. The following instructions are for the Z-axis. Install Z-axis assembly and spindle extension. Then install 6-inch 12V9 type dish wheel and dress if needed. 4-inch and 5-inch wheels can be used. Please consult with the manufacturer. After installing the wheel, put rougher and call it and tighten. Set air bearing swivel base at zero. Swivel motor to 31 degrees, then tighten two cam tighteners. Most helical angles on rougher end mills are at 30 degrees. You then add one degree so the wheel does not drag on the flute. Some roughers might have a tighter helix, so try 35, 40, or 45 degrees. Most roughers will be at a standard 30 degrees, then add the one degree for eliminating wheel drag. Keep the tilt on the wheel head at zero. Raise the Z-axis all the way up over the tool. Then lower Z-axis down to get the wheel in the flute. You will use a flute of the end mill as a guide when sharpening the tool. When you come in to do the next flutes, be careful not to shear the tip of the end mill. You can also use the finger as a guide putting the finger on the back side of the tool. By feeding the Y table in and out, while the wheel is in the flute. This will set the hook angle. Add daikin to the flute or color it with a marker to see after grinding how it's sharpening the flute. You want it to take off material evenly, and that depends on where the wheel is when grinding.
more in you feed the wheel towards you, the less hook you will generate. Feed it out and create more hook. This will seem difficult to do at first, but this is how most cutter grinders sharpen roughers. By going over this procedure a few times, it will become easier to sharpen these types of tools. To make sure flutes are evenly ground, use a micrometer to check size of each flute. You might, ne might need to regrind one or two flutes to make the tool concentric. This concludes the video portion on how to sharpen the most asked about tools shops use. If ever you still need assistance sharpening a particular cutting tool, please call at area code 719-573-1839 and ask for customer service.